All right, last one for the night on T Are You Afraid of the Dark? We got The Tale of the Bookish Babysitter. Um, I actually remember this one not being all that great, but I actually enjoyed it this time. So there is this babysitter who's supposed to be like the damn horse whisperer for children. Um, and she comes over and the mom's just like, you're never going to get my kid to behave. He's a little crap head, uh, you know, kind of rem reminiscent of that south park episode with super nanny or whatever and then the dog whisperer comes over and that's such a fantastic hilarious episode and pretty true to parenting uh, people need to listen to that and pay attention uh listen to the commentary too um anyway but uh yeah so she comes over and she's like well i'm gonna get your kid to read and the mom's like uh my kid's an idiot like he's never gonna read and she's like i can get him to read and so she comes in and she bribes the kid. And she's like, all right, if you read for five minutes, I'll let you watch TV all the rest of the night. And the kid's like, fine. So he takes the book and he starts reading. And as he's reading, the books are coming to life in front of him. Very, uh, this episode kind of reminds me a little bit of the Goosebumps movie with Jack Black. Um, and she's, he's told to finish the story on his own because the only way that he can defeat this and the only thing that's working against him and all of this is his imagination. So he tries to finish it up real quick and she's like, no, 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 that's not good enough. Um, you know, then there's this knight and there's this ghost and there's this witch and everything that are coming after him and that stuff's all pretty cool. And then he, uh, defeats the he figures it all out he defeats it and then he comes out and they're just ending the book and the mom's like comes in she's like oh my god i can't believe it you actually got my kid to read how she thinks that he actually read that entire novel in one sitting while she's only been gone for two hours that's some suspension of disbelief on the mother's part um although i would have to be very skeptical of what the babysitter then says to the mom when she says how much do i owe you and the babysitter says don't worry, I've already been paid. I'd be like, okay, so I need to call the police because you just had relations with my child or something like it. What do you mean you've already been paid? <laughs> That's very odd. You, my kid's acting like you're a god and uh, you're saying you've already been paid. Ooh, something's off here. Um, and in this one, you have Tucker yet again being like, this story is gonna be super lame. And Betty Ann's like, all right, fine. And she's like, you can't look at this book. You can't look at this book. And then she does, like, he finally is like, grabs the book and starts reading it and says like, the annoying little Tucker grab. So she actually like took a book, put a bookmark in it, hoping that he would open up to that page and actually like made the pages look like it. And then hoped that he would read that exact sentence. <laughs> uh, it's a show. It's for kids. I know, but I was like, Really? Wow, that worked out extremely well. Unless she had every single page like that, um, which I guess is possible, but that's even more to the elaborate ruse. Um, anyway, all right, time to go watch some movies.